about how much money is needed to get started to get a product launched on Amazon. <laughs> well, I mean, it, uh, wow, it, it depends a lot. So, so obviously, buying inventory is a big part of that. So, if you, if, you know, <clears throat> if it's a a product that you're getting out of China for, you know, fifty cents or a couple dollars or ten dollars, you know, you want to buy enough of those that you're not going to run out. Um, so you need to be you need to be able to launch and and you know have some success and then you don't want to run out so you need to be able to get more before you run out again so so you probably want to buy you know a thousand to two thousand units um, seems to be kind of like you know a, a fairly safe way to go um, depends how fast you scale uh, you know right. if you start selling two hundred units a day within a week then you're going to run out right yep. and and um, so. First of all, you need to figure out how much do you need and what is your cost, and that's going to give you a, a you know a, a, a baseline of what you need. And then after that, there's either going to be some some giveaways or there's going to be running a uh, advertising cam campaign in the beginning. That's not necessarily going to be profitable either, right? So this is an additional cost. Um, so. Um, I've seen people start with five thousand dollars and do well. I started with five thousand dollars. I did very well, but this was back in twenty thirteen. Right. Um, you know, in in today's market, yeah, depending on the product, you can start with ten thousand dollars and and get it up and running and start you know just you know reinvesting the revenue back into it and buying more inventory and and doing the advertising. Um, if you spend a bunch of time. Uh, beforehand, setting up your social media and, and building up a following that way, so you have people to market to as soon as you go live. That can make a big difference. So uh, now you're investing time and, right. and, and and stuff like that in the beginning instead of actual hard-earned cash, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, being able to come out of the gate fast with a bunch of traffic from people who are already you know following you and expecting the product and looking forward to the product coming out. Um, can make a big difference and, and keep your costs down. Nice. Um, again, you, you you still have to have enough inventory. Right. Um, if you're buying from China, you have to take into account you know the shipping time and stuff like that, which for the last couple of years has been you know far worse yeah. than it used to be. Yeah. Uh, much more expensive and, and and longer lead times. If you're buying it in the U.S., um, then you can probably turn on a dime, you know, to a much greater degree yeah. and uh, not have to invest nearly as much in upfront inventory. Love it, yeah. And then um, kind of catering more to the um, kind of advertising arena, um, I would say a good place to start if you do have a budget constraint, or if you're thinking with you know starting as minimal as possible, um, I would say probably the smartest route to start with is you know, or like the baseline to start with is going to be you know minimum of like fifty dollars a day. Um, think with with that amount because anything less than that you're gonna be you're gonna be basically not being competitive enough or not spending enough to get enough exposure to get your product out there um, you know and there's there's a whole bunch of different um, ranking techniques um, you know or, or routes to go on on how to do your ranking but you know think with about that much each day um, to get started that way you can actually get some exposure go after some keywords um, you know, and, and have you know the standard kind of campaign setups and stuff to really get your your product uh, in front of people's eyeballs.